Hey, what's up? Okay, today let's talk about Merge Archive. If you look here on the left, it's this little folder looking box thing. And what is Mar Merge Archive? So basically last year, Neil Lassen, the creator of the software Merge Informer, rolled out this new feature called Merge Archive. And what it did is, is it archived, basically it captured, it scraped, and it stored the data of certain days to be, con to be referred to in the following year once we uh, roll up to that season. For example, I believe on the 10th of October is when they rolled out this feature. Yeah, exactly. So what it did on the 10th of October is it looked at the top selling shirts. I believe the top selling 500 shirts. It seems to have five columns here. But yeah, here you go, 500 results. And it stored it for us to look one year later. So at the time it, it was quite irrelevant, but it you need to have the foresight to roll out this feature for the next year and the patience. And now that we're uh, approaching Q4, October, November, December, it's it's becoming useful and relevant again. So we can see since the 10th of October 2017 what were the best sellers of that day to kind of guide our research process and find and jump on trends before they actually happen. And if you're in 2019, you can look back to October 2018 and it's a really handy tool uh, because history tends to repeat itself and a lot of the, the things that grabbed consumers last year during Halloween will grab them again this year. So it's quite awesome. So as we scroll down, Let's just kind of look at what, what's the offering. So this was probably one of the best selling shirts last year, uh, but it was also uh, infringement on the M&M brand. So it got dinged, and I'm pretty sure if we click it, that it's gone, rightfully so, but it was selling for a long time. So we go to the next one. This one was also one of the best sellers last year during Halloween, so simple. But you can see what customers and consumers are, are, are resonating with, and you can also kind of consult their keywords to kind of guide your process. This one as well sold very well last year, pumpkin emoji shirts, though keep in mind the keyword emoji is a trademarked term, so I would use the word emoticon uh, to kind of save yourself that ding. This one as well, just here for the booze, a huge, huge seller. Basically, it seemed like anyone who was putting up a shirt with this phrase was selling, but also there's this trademark for it. It has not been registered yet. It is in the process of pending and often once people have already this live number here, you can get dinged for it. So I would, I would actually be careful about approaching it. But if you click on here, I just checked right now, you'll see how many of these of, of this concept is already selling. Uh, but also, so just be careful of that trademark. And you can keep going down and you can get such a great idea of what was selling uh, last year to prepare for the designs. These dabbing soccer shirts sold so well last year. I don't know if dabbing's as big this year, but it was absolutely crazy last year. And you go down and you get some great ideas, right? And so this is in anticipation of Halloween. And let's say you're in anticipation of uh, Thanksgiving. So we can go somewhere like somewhere in November uh, after Halloween has passed and see what's starting to sell. This was, is an anticipation of uh, Thanksgiving. The pumpkin pie Thanksgiving shirt it sold super well last year. But I would also be careful because it's uh, it's very reminiscent of Pac-Man and there could be some copyright infringement there with the brand. So, you know, just just be very careful of this stuff. Don't, don't just rip off stuff or, or, or tread so close to the line. Like, come up with your own ideas, but see what people are buying so you know what they're resonating with, right? So these dabbing shirts were huge last year, so it would make sense to put up dabbing shirts as well. Uh, I put up some dabbing shirts, put up some turkey dabbing shirts and Santa dabbing shirts, and they did super well. And so, so this is this is what we do. We go down... Keep in mind that on, for Thanksgiving, this term, thankful, is, not, is trademarked. Uh, so if you put it up, you'll probably get dinged, which is a bit annoying. Also, this sold super well, the turkey face t-shirt. There's already a thousand up or something crazy like that. So it's a very saturated niche idea. Uh, here's another Dabbing Santa shirt. I had some great success with Dabbing Santa shirts. I, I had a Dabbing Santa shirt, which sold uh, at one point over 100 units a day, <laughs> which was absolutely crazy. And also just be careful of the trademark stuff here. Okay, let's keep this video under wraps. And you can see how this is super useful. Hopefully you can see how, how this is very informative to guiding our process, whether it's for keywords or creating designs or caching trends. Uh, so that, that about covers the Merch Arch Archive, which, which finally we can use because it's going to be about a year later now and it's relevant. So hopefully you're excited about it as I am. And talk soon.